Okay, good afternoon. So we're going to expand this out. We've already done a simpler one where we had just an X term and a, and a simple number. I think it was one, I think we did, or two. And we did to power of five. So we're going to do one that's a bit more complicated using Pascal's triangle. And then later on we'll use some other methods to solve it. But this is probably, actually probably the easiest method. And if you remember we used Pascal's triangle where we've got... Um, so we add all these numbers together like that and we get and so on. They always go up and then go back down. We're going to use this because it's to the power of 4, we're going to use the fourth one, which is the one with the 4 on, that one there. We'll use that. The reason I'm writing this together, I'm going to, I'm going to rewrite, the, move that value down here and rub that off because it's going to get in the way. The thing with this is it takes a bit of wide space on your board or on your paper. Okay, so it's going to be this one, the one that's got a 4 in front. That's one way of finding it, or the other way is you end up with 5 terms because it counts down from 4 to 0, which is 5 terms. And it's got 5 terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And as we see when we get to it, that will give us our coefficients that we multiply into our expansion. So I'll just write, make a note of this down here. And thus, and then I can clear that off out of the way, because we all need the space. Okay, so the method with this, with Pascal's triangle, is we, we start with the two x's. And clearly, uh, I recommend doing this these steps, doing all the steps, don't take any shortcuts, you know things are to the power 0 or 1, I would still write the full amount in. And the more complicated it gets, the more important it is to write all the steps in. And then do the simplifying afterwards. In fact, that's always a good principle in any maths, actually. Write everything down and then simplify it. Okay, so let's have a look. So we've got, we're going to have uh, 2x... So I'm going to put in brackets because I'm going to raise this to the power of 4. The raising to the power of 4 applies to both, both of these, the 2 and the x. Then I've got a countdown. So 2x to the 3 plus 2x to the 2 plus 2x to the 1 plus 2x to the 0. Okay, and then I do the opposite with the other term, which is a minus three. So I have to put I'm going to put that in brackets as well. Minus three, and this counts up from your zero to your four. So minus three to the one, minus three to the two, minus three to the three, and then finally to the 4. So, so far so good. And then we put the coefficients in front, out front, and they're going to multiply into these. So this obviously is 1, and as I say, that's obviously just the same, but it's a good idea to write everything in. This one's 4, then we've got 6, then it goes down, starts going back down again, 4, and then 1. And at that stage, then you can do your tidying up, <coughs> simplify it all. So uh, let's have a look to see what I've got so I don't go wrong, I'll read off my notes. So this part, obviously, anything to power 0 is 1, as you know. So this is going to be 1 times 1, so they're not going to make a difference. It's this, this part. So 2 to the 4, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, should be 16. That will be 16x to the 4. So that's our first term. I'm going to keep it in line. I could squash it all up, but then you tend to lose where you are. Then, next one is, so that's going to be uh, 2 times 2 times 2 and x to the 3 times 4 times uh, minus 3. So that's actually going to give me, I've put a plus in there, but it's a minus. So that minus 3 to the power 1. And that, if you do the mass for that, you will get minus 96x to the 3. Okay, so far, all right with that. Then, this one, same thing. This time, this will become a positive, because any negative number squared becomes positive. And that will give me, 
when I do the tidying up there. Do it in steps if you wish, do little bits at a time and then multiply it out at the end but I'm going straight for the 216 x to the 2. Okay. Then this is going to be a minus again because it's of this minus. So this will give me, so obviously 2x to the 1 is just going to be 2x. So this one will also give me uh, minus again because of that minus. 216x. Okay. And then finally plus 81. Because um, obviously that becomes positive 3, 1 times 3 times, uh, this is 1, so it just ends up being 81.